Mile 1298. You're new to this whole EV thing, but those range fears? Way overblown. Because your all electric Hyundai Ionic 5 gets you to work and back all week on a single charge. When it comes to embracing change, Hyundai's thinking of every mile. Hyundai, it's your journey. Call 5623144603 for complete details. 2024 Ionic 5 rear wheel drive has an EPA estimated driving range of up to 303 miles. Actual range will vary with options, driving conditions and habits, vehicle and battery's condition and other factors. Available in limited quantities in select states only. T-Mobile has invested billions to light up America's largest 5G network from big cities to small towns, including right here in yours. And great coverage is just the beginning. Right now, families and small businesses can save up to 20% versus AT&T and Verizon when they switch. Visit your local T-Mobile store today. Plan savings with three lines of T-Mobile essentials versus comparable available plans. Plan features and taxes and fees may vary. Child-proofing people's homes is hard, but Duracell is making it just a bit simpler. Not only are they committed to educating parents, caregivers, and medical professionals about the importance of battery safety, they make the only lithium coin batteries with a non-toxic bitter coating to help discourage children from swallowing them. Duracell even features child-secure packaging designed to avoid accidental opening. Learn more at duracell.com/powersafely. Available on 2032, 2025, and 2016 sizes. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or no warranty coverage at all, listen up. CarShield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that covers more parts than ever. Visit carshield.com/audio to find out how you could pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Get your free quote today at carshield.com/audio. That's carshield.com/audio. You don't know me. Confession I can't take back. The masked speaker. Texas seven eight five nine two says, "I went to school with a guy who eventually ended up in a pretty popular band." Oh wow, cool! Won't say the name, but it brings me great joy editing his Wikipedia page to say <laughs> musician slash fart smeller. <laughs> Just back and forth they yeah. go. Oh, boy. You edit it, they change it. Someone's checking out the Maroon 5 uh-huh. wiki page right now yeah. going, oh, boy. I knew it. <laughs> and while I'm sure it feels good to get Wikipedia so revenge funny. on your biggest enemies, yeah. what feels even better is unloading your heaviest secrets right here on our show anonymously. Mm-hmm. And we've got a woman who wants to unburden herself today. Oh. She's oh. chosen to go by the name Dana slash Pit Smeller. Oh. So, Dana, <laughs> welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Thank you so much for letting me get this off my chest. I thought you were going to say for letting me take a big whiff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Dana. However you want to do it, Dana, it's up to you. The voice changer is on. You are now the mass speaker. Whenever you're ready, let's hear your confession. Oh, okay. Well, this was back when I was, I'd say, in my early 20s. Mm-hmm. I worked at a nightclub. I was a cocktail waitress. Okay. Oh. All right. You're making yeah. some good tips. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and it was, it was fun. I had a great group of people that worked there. And each night we'd finish up at about 3 a.m. and all walk home. Like a bunch of my coworkers and I oh. all sort of walked home. Oh, wow. Uh, all the people I knew who were cocktail waitresses did something else at 3 a.m. when the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they were going home, yeah. they were running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is exactly right. Right, Jose. No, I don't need to ride. I'm good. Yeah. It's only four miles. <laughs> That's exactly right. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Well, it's All good. Right. It's good. You have like a group to be safe with at three in the morning. Yeah, yeah. you kind of need that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so we would walk by this one little house that had this really adorable little garden in front. It was just perfect. It was oh, so beautifully kept. There was this like little pond in it, and it had these oh, like those stupid little garden gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's always so funny when you come across a house like that right off of downtown, and you're like, oh. An old person definitely lives here. Uh, Someone with time. Like the gnomes, like it was the cute ones like that had the fishing poles. There was one that like had a little mushroom next to it. It's funny that you like those. They're pretty cheesy. They are cheesy, but it's cute if they set up a display. Totally cheesy, but really adorable. Like it was really cutely. It was cute. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. I'm just going to keep saying, like, we were in our early 20s. (laughs) (laughs) My my only 
excuse. But we just thought it would be hilarious if we moved them around into different parts of the yard one night. Like we, you know, we put two on top of each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. Why? Why? Yeah. Explain. Why'd you do that? <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. That's funny. That's harmless, it's though. Yeah. Moving the gnomes I think that around. was like a thing for a while. Yeah. Like, I knew a bunch of people in college would take gnomes from one house and you move them to another. We, I don't stole, know. we stole a gnome in freshman year and then we handed it down to the next class yeah. and we graduated. That's good. Mm, okay. <laughs> So we did that that first night, and then when we went by the next night, they were all back well, to duh. where they were, like, originally. Right. Magic. Yeah. Oh, my God. They How came they alive there? and went back to their spots. <laughs> now it's like the seven dwarves yeah. magic. They're, like, going into a mine. And... <laughs> so, of course, we thought it'd be extra hilarious to move them again and, like, in different places. <laughs> this all is right. literally, like, the most innocent confession. I, I mean, honestly, my grandma would, like, this would be the most exciting part of her day, coming outside <laughs> to seeing her gnomes, and she'd be like, Alexis, guess what I did today? She calls you right away. <laughs> How did you get up on the roof, you yeah. silly little man? Get down here. It's the highlight of my year. Yeah, honestly. Aww. No, I'm so embarrassed to say. We did it like three to four times a week for like a oh month. Wow. Oh, wow. But it it it's became commitment. like a thing. And, and then it was almost fun to come back and see it like reset. You yeah. Know? Okay. But anyway, then we went by, and I just feel so terrible about this. The house was put up for sale. Oh. Oh, no. And I felt like totally responsible. Like either these what? people feel like the neighborhood's horrible and like they're being messed with or like, I don't know, the gnomes are alive or whatever. Or they just knew that they could get top dollar for a downtown location. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, I, hopefully, right? But like I felt like it was because of us. I felt like we forced <laughs> these people out of their house and I've just oh. always felt super guilty about it. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I, could, are... I could see like an old couple being like, gosh, these darn kids in the yeah. neighborhood keep yeah. messing yeah. with our stuff. I don't want to be. This place isn't what it used to be. Oh, there's yeah. probably a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's literally yeah. every old person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nothing's what it used to be. Well, we don't need to be ageist about it, but I... <laughs> <laughs> but we will be. Like, years later, this house comes on the market again, and I bought it with my husband. No! What? Wait, wait! You moved into Gnome House? Yeah, I live in that house now. That oh. is so cool. I don't want you all say like those old people in that house. Uh, <laughs> so oh, I meant those strapping, young, attractive people. That <laughs> that house. Yeah, that's right? so funny. Did you put the gnomes back in the yard? You have to. You know what? It's so funny. This is like a constant conversation, but I'm going to. My husband's yeah. like, what? This is not us at all. And I'm like, I think I just have to do it. Yeah, let's find that house and mess with her gnomes. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get mad at people who mess with your gnomes. <laughs> Karma. I can't. I think it will be like my tenants, right? It's gonna yeah. happen. Oh my god! That's it, really it cool. came full circle. Yeah, it is. This is actually kind of a wholesome confession. Oh, I like it. Well, I still feel guilty about it. I wish I could reach. I hope those people are listening and like. Well, I, they're probably not even alive. Yeah, but you know, whatever. Yeah. They're probably not even alive. <laughs> they probably made money. So. Well, they're looking down from heaven, smiling yeah. on like their beautiful property. <laughs> or maybe they're like lifting their fists at me in fury. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe I won. <laughs> you came out on top though. Text in seven eight. Five nine two. If you have a confession you've been holding on to, we can hide your identity, mask your voice, and make you the next mass speaker. Your phone tap's coming up next. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Child-proofing people's homes is hard, but Duracell is making it just a bit simpler. Not only are they committed to educating parents, caregivers, and medical professionals about the importance of battery safety, they make the only lithium coin batteries with a non-toxic bitter coating to help discourage children from swallowing them. Duracell even features child-secure packaging designed to avoid accidental opening. Learn more at Duracell.com slash power safely. Available on 2032, 2025, and 2016 sizes. Am I doing the right thing with my finances? Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? Putting a financial plan together feels impossible. What if I told you there was another way? Take FACET's free financial wellness quiz to get your score and a snapshot of your current financial health. Visit FACET.com now and discover your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T dot com. This ad is sponsored by FACET. FACET Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. At KeyBank, we know a small moment like, Whoa, my kid's got a serious backhand. Can lead to an even bigger question like, Tennis camp is how much? And that's the type of moment where we'll meet you to help you build a savings plan for expenses big and small so your money can make money. Mike, how's that sound? Sounds like match point. Sounds like love. We could serve up tennis puns all day. For every financial need, we'll meet you in the moment. KeyBank opens doors. KeyBank member FDIC. 
Stop daydreaming, car shoppers. Dave Smith Motors has your dream car with over 1,300 new cars and trucks in inventory. We are one of the largest Jeep and Ram dealers, selling Chryslers and Dodges, too. And we're the Northwest's largest GM dealer. People travel from over 40 states, including Hawaii and Alaska. Buy from us in Kellogg, Idaho. We have the best people, the best products, and our low, low, low prices are back. Before you buy anywhere, visit DaveSmith.com to unlock the best prices. Dave Smith Motors, where dreams drive home.